Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to find the area of this given shape. And let me remind you that this shape is also called irregular polygon. And you know polygon means many sided shape. And in this very first step to make things simple we are going to divide up this given shape into three simpler regions so you can see right now as i you can see that i have divided up into this one this is over here if you look at this one this is a top triangle and then we have this one is a rectangle and then we have another right triangle so we have a bigger triangle on the top and then smaller at the bottom and then we have a rectangle so we're gonna now find the area of these three individual shapes and in this next step before we find the area of these individual shapes we want to find the formula to figure out the total area of this shape and this is the formula we will be using and the total area of this given shape is going to be equal to area of this top triangle okay this is the one area of the top triangle plus the area of this rectangle and now this part is excluded so no wonder i put down minus the area of this small tri angle these are by the way these two triangles are right triangles and in this next step let's go ahead and find the area of these two right triangles we're going to be finding the area of these two right triangles and the formula to find the area of these triangle is is right up here the area equals to a half time base time height in this triangle this side is our base this side is our height so area equals to a half time base is 9 times height is 6 let's go ahead and multiply it out so that's gonna be simply 20 seven so the area of this turns out to be 27 square units so similarly we're going to be finding the area of this right triangle as well over here this is our base this is our height we will be using once again so the area equals to a half times base is 6 and the height is 3 when you multiply it out and divide by 2 that's gonna be 9 so the area of this triangle turns out to be 9 and finally we now are you are we going to find the area of this rectangle and the formula is right up here as you can see the area of a rectangle is always equal to base time height as you can see the base is 15 and the height is 9 of this rectangle so that means the area is going to be a simply base is 15 times height is 9 means we got 1 35 so that means 135 is the area of this rectangle and in our final step we are going to plug it in everything in our formula okay the area of the top triangle we figured out was 27 you know that and the area of this rectangle is 135 and then minus this is the area of smaller triangle is 9. Let's go ahead and simplify it out and we're going to get our answer. So our total 
area of this given shape is going to be simply 27 plus 135 minus 9 and if you add and subtract it's going to give you 153 square units that means it could be either yards meters or whatever you want that is our answer thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos